Hi everyone, intuitive healing, quantum healing. Let's go dive deep in today. Let's go talk a little bit more about the um, awakening time. I love that talking around the awakening time. Let me just only pin my website so you can easily go and have a look what I'm offering for you. Uh, actually, I don't know how to pin it. <laughs> Let me just only see. Okay. Let me just only write it again. Sorry, I'm just so so today i don't know let me check i don't know does anyone know how to pin my post i don't have any idea that's definitely like that oh that's supposed to be like that anyway let me just only leave it like that subscribe my channel if you're watching me from the youtube or maybe from the instagram you can follow me but don't follow blindly you can just only follow if you feel is that content which i'm providing that information which i'm providing is going to benefit for you okay for your highest good that's only the reason you can go and join my um, subscriber list that's all that's all i'm asking you but if you think or if you feel that content is not going to give you anything just please go away okay because that's your wasting uh, time that's your wasting your energy uh, being here and just only listening or maybe commenting different way because i experienced a few days ago that beautiful comments on my youtube channel the people sometimes coming and that's why i'm, is, I'm recording this video around the waking time around the souls awaking why the souls is it is not really like that because we are thinking we are completely awake but we are not we are not okay so how is that um, goes how is that um, needs to be unraveled for you today so if you think you are awake completely awake congratulations but i can just give you that beautiful sign you are not fully awake even me in the kind of the some of in the kind or some of my aspects in my life they are still to be awake, to be pushed a little bit. I mean, push, that means that's forced a little bit, shook it off, or that kind of the thing. So that's why we need to be aware of that. You can awake your soul to the big concept, what's going on on the planet. Earth. Of course, that, that, that's the concept, that's beautiful. You are awake, congratulations, 100%. But you couldn't awake yourself from the small, tiny aspects, which one is impacting your life. I know what I'm talking about. A few days ago, that's mean that over the weekend, I just only came over. That's really, really challenging time because that was like a catharsis for me. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, I thought I was awake in that kind of the aspects in my life. But now the universe told me, no, you're not, because I can tell you what's happened. I've been pushing away. I've been telling to myself a lot of time, lie and lie. I was lying to myself. Yes, I was faking myself. Yes, that's true. That's really difficult to admit in front of myself because I was thinking, no, you're not, you are fully awake. You're doing everything good. But then universe forced me, you know, that stuff. If you're not listening, the universe, if you not listen, the universe, if you not listen, the, for example, the people believe in the God. Okay. I'm really open for any kind of the beliefs you are believing in. But that's supposed to be behind it the love and gratefulness okay so that's the um, that's the foundation and every kind of the belief love is guiding you and gratefulness is guiding you so you can believe in anything as long you are good for yourself and for others and that's all by the way so if you're not listening your intuition for example your gut your inner knowing or your highest self or your God, or maybe the different, different way of the believing. If you're not listening carefully and you're not following that rules, that's the foundation of the love and the gratefulness, and you're not applying in your life, mm, and you're escaping and saying, no, everything is good, everything is fine, everything is glory, hallelujah. Of course it is, but you need to see the clear, um, with the clear eyes and the clear mind what is in front of you really what is in front of you not through your trauma not through your different story somebody told you just think it how is the, how is this seeing what is really in front of you not saying okay the cup is full of the water but and the cup is a half of the 
um, WhatsApp. So you need to really truly seeing that stuff. And then when you're going to see that stuff truly, the universe is not going to force you. The universe is not going to push you because you'll be healing yourself straight away. In my um, situation, I didn't listen. I didn't listen. That was a few, I would like to say, the few couple of the years I didn't listen that for that aspect of my life. But then the universe booked that day, booked that time for me and sent it to me to the specific places. And yes, I'm really awake in that place. I'm really awake. I'm really conscious about it. I wish you too as well, but I, I don't wish you uh, like a universe needs to force you and push you. And then you're going to experience really challenging time, like almost sometimes like I'm um, threatening your life or saying that something I don't want. I don't want to see you in that place. I don't want to see you in that place. So that's why I'm coming here today. Just start listening your intuition, start listening your inner knowing. Don't ignore any sign outside of you, okay? Because that's really crucial. That's really important for you to go and have a look inside you. Listen, listen, listen. Because so many of us thinking, oh, we are just awake and the other people don't awake. No, that's a completely nonsense. Don't judge anyone because you're not awake too, fully. Okay? Don't judge anyone because you're still in the waking process. So I'm saying, and I will be saying, we are fully still in the awakening process because we need to awake ourselves from the different concepts, from the different part of our body mind. Okay. That's all about, that's all about. See how is that big? So if you're awake and you're thinking, oh my goodness, the water is a poison or maybe the, the air or the sky, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. That's, that's good. You're awake. Oh, my food is poison. Well, fantastic. That's all you completely good. That's all. And the clothing and um, lots of lots of different different story around our uh, people who are just only uh, driving this planet Earth. That's completely true. Okay, that yes, that's that's correct. You're awake in that concept, but you're not awake fully in your own concepts as well. Just look at in your relationship. Are you fully awake in your relationship? I can tell you that a small tiny piece. Of people just only thinking oh my goodness what's going on um i'm i'm fully awake and i'm trying to manifest my life but the, the life is not coming so how i can manifest my stuff how i can just only go and just do the stuff oh you need to go and have a look what is really inside you what is blocking you you are standing in your way you are standing in your way your conscious your own beliefs your ego your things you never resolve it before and that kind of the issue maybe you had a conversation long time ago with somebody and now you're feeling so exhausted because that story is carry on carry on carry on like a replay in your head just coming back coming back that story is holding you back that's small tiny stuff i can tell you what is holding you back maybe that sounds sound funny but that energy around you like the feng shui if you heard about the feng shui when you go to the the one of the souls feng shui who is practicing and believing in that energy it needs to be a flow everywhere so for example when you've got a house and when you've got a clutter under your bed and lots of stuff under your bed or maybe the stuff close to your bed and just only blocking that air just only circulation going up and down because you need to have that beautiful path to for the circulation for the earth and for the feng shui energy yang and yin that needs to be constantly constantly in the flow state but if you clutter your mind for example if you clutter your house with that full of the stuff you don't want it that you don't actually you don't want it you've been just only um gathering that stuff for ages years okay and now we are so attached that a lot of attack well, do you know what i'm talking about i'm just only going straight away to the attachments you are so attached to the stuff in your life you're so attached to the clothing you are so so, um, so attached to the uh, stuff in your closet just go and take it out even your phone full of the junk full of the mails which one you never never uh, read it and also full of them, I said the spam, but also full of them photos. You don't want to use it, but you keep it, the screenshot. 
Another thing, your phone also is holding a lot of lot of different unwanted energy. Which which one is like you subscribing blindly somebody? That's why I only told you subscribe it if you're really really taking the benefit from my video. That is only about because you impacting your own energy. By the way, if you like this message, give me a, some comments below or thumbs up. So that's why you impacting, that's you impacting your own life, your own energy, because that's everything is over there. And also you impacting the collective consciousness and that energy couldn't flow clearly in our life. And that's why a lot of people couldn't manifest that stuff. I know that's a deep and that's a much more deeper conversation for the next level, but I'm assuming you are next level of the soul, of the consciousness, because you are here, you are watching me. So we need to declutter all our mind, body, and definitely soul, because soul is holding that baggage, that rubbishes from your past life, from, the, from this lifetime, and the future lifetime. That's so vast, that's so big, okay? Because your future life can you hold you back here, and then your past life, and also holding you back here. So that is all it about. You need to play that game. We need to just only step a little bit to the future, just change something in the future. So this, this, this present moment is going to uh, benefit for you and also the past is going to benefit you. So see, that's how is that circulation, like a Feng Shui, let me just only keep carry on the Feng Shui stuff. It's really crucial. Declutter your mind, declutter your body and your soul, definitely, and the spirit. Just choose the beautiful color for your spirit. So, for example, I'm choosing the violet color. That's amazing. That's a glory color. That's a color of a lot of happiness and a waking time. Because always, always I've got the intention in my head at the beginning of the day and constantly during the day as well. And I'm asking my subconscious mind, my higher self, please awake me in every aspect of my life, in every aspect of my life, which I supposed to know in this time, in this moment, okay? Then you can go and thank you for the heart and you can go and straight away you will be awake. You'll be awake. I promise you. I promised myself when I was 16, 15, and I told my subconscious mind that time, I knew it, something is coming for me, but I didn't know that subconscious mind that could be my higher self. Who, who told you, like a 16 years old girl saying, oh, you've got a higher self. And I was like, what is it? Who is it? Where does she be? <laughs> By the way, anyway, I was calling that subconscious mind. That's good too. And I promised my subconscious mind and I asked her, would you mind? Actually, I didn't ask politely, would you mind? But I was like a command. I said to her, Okay, unravel everything what I need to know about myself and clear it out and take it out, all the rubbishes from me. Because I went through really, really challenging childhood as well. So I was waiting, I was waiting, I was waiting. And the 10 years after my awakening, that's a fully awakening, my subconscious mind saying, okay, time is now, Gabriella, and here we go. And then, yeah. I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm just carry on and I'm, I'm still and I'm keeping asking my subconscious mind, keep carry on, keep carry on, keep carry on, because that's a lot of things to be conscious about, to be conscious about, really conscious about. I would like to say from my experience and from my clients' experience when they're coming to my biofield clearing energy and or shamanic healing or maybe they coming the reprogramming the subconscious mind. That's really subconscious mind, isn't it? So when they're coming to my session and we are sitting and we are just only chatting because that's the most of my session is a conversation. So I'm, I'm leading you, but you are unraveling and you are just only pushing that button, not me. I'm just only giving you the direction, like in the maze, okay? Like a hot and cold. Oh, close, a little bit right, a little bit left. And then you're saying, oh, that's here, that, here it is. So this is my session all about, because that session is supposed to be uh, so powerful and bring your power back. No, this is empowering you, but it bring the power back. But what I'm saying around that session is like uh, the people just completely feeling like a mind blowing because yeah that's that's really right that word because that's like a big bang in their head saying oh wow i slept seven ten twenty years in that aspects of my life 
I didn't have a clear vision. My eyes were so foggy. My brain was so foggy. That's why my contact lenses were so dirty. When they go and clear it out, that beliefs, that program, that unconscious wounds, because we don't know what is holding us back. You don't know. You're waking up in the morning and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're not going to do anything because life is life. And the um, universe planet, you planet for yourself a long time ago. But that ego and that mind, that your false identity, be, uh, created something completely different. So, for example, I woke up this morning. I can tell you this. Why not? I woke up this morning and then, of course, I just only prepared my daughter to the school anyway. And then I was thinking I'm going to just only sit down and taking my journaling and just drink some lovely, lovely mushroom coffee. Um, and definitely everything went differently. I just only opened the cupboard and I start clearing out my cupboard this morning because I've been called to go and just only do something around this cupboard. And that cupboard that could be a good example for how we can declutter our mind, how we can organize our mind, where's your emotions, how the emotion is supposed to look like, how I can clear it out, how I can remove that emotion, how I can acknowledge that emotions first. Where's that come from? Who is that responsible for that emotions? Is it in me or maybe the outward? I'm going to leave you with that question because I'm not going to give you the answer for that. But definitely that cupboard just only called me to go inside and just only have a look. And I throw away the, all the stuff, which one was expired or I was said, okay, I don't need more sweets, go away. I don't need more, I, don't, I couldn't actually remember what I throw it away. There was a, some sweet for my children as well. That was a really, really expired one. But definitely, we are like that. We are holding the stuff which has happened for us. For us, if you're saying for you, that's good. But if you're saying to me, you're keeping yourself in the victim position. So join me and book the session with me. We're going to clear it out, that stuff, because that's too old to keep it in your head, to keep it in your body. Let's go remove that trauma to traumatic events. Okay, by the way. So I removed that stuff. So that cupboard is like an example, is like a metaphor to your awaking time. Awake, open and see what is it in front of you. Really, literally, what is it? Maybe you can adjust some bugs or maybe you can adjust some situations or maybe you can improve because I'm not saying to you, you need to go and take it out or just only remove it completely or just only throw it away. You need to go and maybe revisit, or maybe you need to go and put a, some tape on it, or maybe just clip, or something like that, okay? But you need to know that stuff. But if you don't know, I'm here, so you can go and have a look straight away. I don't know how that sounds for you. I don't know if that resonates with you, but definitely, definitely, if you would like to join me and my beautiful newsletter, just go on my website and have a look. I prepared something for you when you sign up for the monthly newsletter. Definitely you're going to receive the free, of course, the free, um, I would like to say reprogramming your subconscious mind. That's a lot of exercising. Sorry, I've got a lot of far, far away private airplane around me. So definitely like that, okay? So I'm inviting you go straight away and don't forget at the end of the June I'm publishing my first course and that will be affordable for everyone on the planet Earth. But around the August I'm going to announce the beautiful, beautiful, yes, event for everyone on the planet Earth. So if you would like to meet me personally, you will be have, a, uh, you will be have given that opportunity to, yeah, to do that. But stay still and just patient around oh sorry august yeah 2024 that's all about it that's all about it i'm not going to tell you more but definitely definitely you are not fully awake if you keep saying okay i'm awake i'm awake okay the awaking people then not never ever repeating that stuff i'm awake i'm awake i'm awake i'm awake no you're not awake because you're still sleeping Dream a dream in the dream. You are dreaming. So what kind of the dream you would like to have today? 
What kind of the dream? I would like to have a beautiful dream. Sunny days. Talk with the friends, talk with the new people, new souls, make a new contract. I mean, the contract with the fulfillment and happiness. Oh my goodness, I can talk, I can talk, I can talk. So if you got any question, just leave me a comment below. I can answer for you now or not. Just leave me comments later on and I'm going to record another video, especially for your question. Why not? Why not? I'm still looking the beautiful content. I would like to support you. I would like to give you and share with you with my gift because that is all about we're coming here on the planet earth to share our gift no keeping for yourself the wisdom is not yours the knowledge is not yours actually the wisdom yeah true because the I can, okay i can give you the very quick wisdom and knowledge the knowledge is collective consciousness so you couldn't keep it your knowledge for yourself that's a jealousy that's a against from the law of the universe but i would like to tell you the wisdom the wisdom is like your experience so you cultivating that experience straight away because you're going through and you're using the so your knowledge and information which one you've been working on eons times generate oh my goodness that's so long and that's why you are now experiencing and bringing more wisdom more wisdom but uh, please share with the others because as many of us going to share that wisdom and that knowledge and that information then we're going rising up our frequency when we are rising up our frequency at the end i can tell you this when we are rising up our frequency then we can manifest easily our reality our reality and then we're going to have a beautiful fulfillment life that is all about so no jealousy no judgment if I'm changing myself, if I'm rising up my frequency, I'm changing my own world. And then when you're rising your own world, you are you are, when you are changing your frequency, you're rising your own world. And my world and your world is a whole world. I mean, when you see that ocean and drops, so my drops, your drops, as a whole oceans. Do you know what I mean? Okay. I'm sure you know. I'm sure you know because you're watching me. That's why I'm here. Thank you so much. Subscribe my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I love you so much. And yes, yes, spread the word. Share this video as far as you would like to. Someone somewhere is waiting for that video. Go and have a look as well. I'm going to this only pop up here. So maybe some of you is waiting for that link tree. So if you would like to support my mission, just go over there and just only have a look the link support my mission or just when you have a look my spotify my shop online with the clothing for the awakening people as well you can go and have a look on amazon my website uh, amazon my healing book my body spirit leave your past behind definitely leave your past behind and have a look and have a look what i'm just only offering for you a lot of beautiful stuff but you need to just want to willing to change yourself and change the life but if you are judging, stop. The changes is coming from you, no from outside of the world. Definitely like that. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.